Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Curtis and this is my channel Hot Action Fishing and Fab. Usually do a little bit of fishing, a little bit of fabricating, but uh, a couple videos ago I posted, I was out in the woods hunting and we're back at it. So I let a boar hog walk last time. I don't know if that's going to happen again. So if I see a, if I see a pig and it's decent size and it's looking good, it's probably going to get knocked down. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Just got up in the stand. We'll see what happens. Well, if you guys just seen there, I think I just shot me a pig. So, uh, I'm pretty stoked. I'm happy. Uh, been a long time coming. Had plenty of opportunity to shoot pigs before. You know, just kept passing on and passing on and passing on them and finally decided that today's the day. And uh, definitely didn't think it was going to happen. It's not optimal conditions at all. It's blowing 20. I'm freezing. I'm shaking. I'm a, I'm a Michigan boy. I moved down here to Florida. I've lived here for four years now. Yeah, when it gets into the 60s, I start shivering, and that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, it was blowing like 20 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour gust, and uh, did not think I was going to make it happen. I figured blowing this hard, I figured everything would have stayed bedded down throughout the day. But they came in, and I put one in a pig. So let's uh, let's go find her. I didn't hear her crashing around, but uh, yeah, I just shot her, so I'm going to give her a little bit of time. Let her pass, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, here's my buddy Robbie right there. We're uh, getting ready to go look for this pig, I guess. So uh, here we go. There's a bunch of blood, all kinds of blood. pig on the front bumper of the Jeep here. Hoping it doesn't fall off. We didn't have any straps. Woo! Looky there, there's the pig. We uh, got it all quartered up and got it all cleaned up. Um, really happy with, with everything, the way it all came out. Um, probably gonna turn this into a catch and cook. I mean, I might run inside and do it really quick right now, or I'll just wait for my girlfriend to go home so she can do a little taste test, see how she likes it. Uh, yeah, I didn't do any filming during the quartering process, because I'm sure YouTube's not going to care for that here pretty soon. Um, well, here we are. I had a great time out hunting this morning. It was, it was a chilly morning, and we made it happen. So let's get inside and do some cooking. <clears throat> we didn't cook up the pig last night. We waited till this morning, so we're gonna have a little uh, pork tenderloin and some eggs and potatoes. So I'm just cleaning it up a little more, just cutting some of this, I don't know, excess like fat or tallow, whatever it is, and uh, gonna throw it in the pan. Just real simple seasoning, probably do a little bit of Everglades because uh, Everglades goes on everything, and then we'll go from there. So here we go. Cutting into some bite sized chunks. I gotta throw it on the pan. A little bit of olive oil and butter.
Alright. Odds had what did you have? Some sausage that my buddy made? Yeah. Sausage. Some wild pork sausage. This is the first time having just straight up wild pork tenderloin. So uh <laughs> all right, odd. Pick it up. What's your first impressions? You like it? It's very good. It's good. Mm -hmm. All right. I thought I was going to have this whole pig, 165 pound pig that I shot to myself, but uh, I guess not. So she enjoys it. So I got the ribs, I got all the tenderloins, got the back straps, got the hands, got the shoulders, got everything. So uh, there's going to be a lot of smoking in our future and more uh, pork breakfast to come. So uh, thank you all for watching. This is my first catch and cook on this channel. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching another episode of uh, Hot Action Fishing and Fab.